I mean, the video's done now, but I mean, I can show y'all that your girl look good. <laughs> forgetting a product that's really important that you should have but if you watch this video and you're like oh girl you forgot this <laughs> my bad welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back oh uh, yeah man how you doing on, you good on, i know you like yeah, that you good, you good. Good. i know oh, you like that how long you been back man welcome, 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 i see big girls Welcome to my channel, my beautiful people. It's your girl, Take Away All. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I feel are beauty essentials, what you need to have in your makeup collection if you're just starting with makeup or if you are a pro at makeup. Just to give you a little insight of what you need to have in your makeup bag. So without further ado, let's get right to it. First and foremost, the first thing I like to do before I apply makeup to my face, I like to moisturize my face. And the product I use is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel to, to moisturize my face. It is this product right here. This is the product. This product is big. You want to make sure you have this product and moisturize your face. I mean, you can use any other type of moisturizer that you like. And I also use the Nivea um, Moisturizing Cream. I'll put a picture of the cream right here. I don't... My, I just ran out, so I don't really have a picture of it right now. So first, I like to start off by moisturizing. So after I moisturize my face, the next thing I like to do is go in with my eyebrows. And the product I usually use are the eyebrow pencils from Air Woman. I got this from Nigeria. I lost, it usually comes with a pencil sharpener, but this is what they look like. It's, I've been using them. I use multiple ones at the same time. I don't know why. I, mean, I need to stop that. But I start off with my eyebrows. So you, for eyebrows, you can use um, you can use the pencils. You can use the palette, like those little cream in the palette form. You can use different things. I know Anastasia does it in like a little dip brows, whatever they call it. But you can also use that. But I felt like this works best for me. This is why I'm gonna be using this products right here. After I draw my eyebrows, and I like to go in next with my Maybelline foundation. Foundation. After I draw my eyebrows, I like to go in with my Maybelline concealer. Oh, I use my LA Girl concealer in the shade Toast because that's more of my shade. So I can use either or, but sometimes I want to get like the highlighted brow bone area. I usually use like this Maybelline one. You've seen it in a couple of my videos because it likes it, it's not my shade, so it gives me a highlighted brow and everything like that. So, next thing that you must have in your beauty collection, your beauty bag, whatever you want to call it, is some. Um, concealers. Now after my eyebrows I like to go in next by doing my eyes because I felt like other people you can do it with every way. I'm not saying my routine is the best routine just to put that out there but it's just I felt like whenever I do my eyes, eyes first whatever fallout is from the eyeshadow I usually clean it up before I move on to my face. I don't want to put on foundation on my face and then I have eyeshadow fallout and I have to go back and clean that up and just too much too much going back and forth you get the drift. So the next thing I recommend is having an um, eyeshadow primer for your makeup collection, your makeup bag, whatever, and because the first thing you want to do when you're doing makeup, you want to always prime your eyelids before you put in any eyeshadow. That's to help, this eye, This primer is what's going to help secure your eyeshadow in place and make it long lasting and make it look beautiful, just like, just as if you just put it on, even when it's like five hours later into your makeup look or you wearing your makeup look. So another thing that I usually do, you don't have to do this, you can just prime and go straight to work, but I like to usually prime my, no, you don't have scratch that whenever you prime you set that prime in and then you go in with like a concealer or some like uh, eyeshadow base to lock that primer in then you can apply your eyeshadow or then you can set that uh, concealer you just place it of your primer with some um, powder or you can set it in with some eyeshadow like that's really light or like neutral tone now after I've primed my eyelid for real Oh really? That's how you feel. Now after I've primed my eyelids and then I've applied my base, which is my concealer, I'm gonna go in with my palette and I, and I usually use the Morphe palette. This is the one from Jaclyn Hill. I use like I have like multiple collections of the Morphe palette, so whatever floats your boat or whatever palette you use or whatever palette you have that's eye out pigmented, go ahead and use that. So after priming my eyelids, like I said, I like to go in with my palette and create what beautiful look I want to create. After I've done my eyeshadow, I like to go in with my liner. 
you do not have to go with a liner but it's like most of my looks usually have a black liner so I would definitely recommend getting a black liners I recommend having at least a black eyeliner in your collection you could have a gel liner uh, or you can have the liquid one now, after the liner is drawn and everything I recommend getting um, a face primer for your foundation and I usually use the Smashbox photo finish uh, face primer while well, I also use the elf um, face primer and I know that the Fenty uh, foundation primer or face primer whatever they call it it's really good I've seen a couple of my friends have it and I've seen a couple of videos about it and I usually like it so I recommend getting that but you do have to have a face primer like the face primer is just like having an eyeshadow primer because it puts everything in place when you apply your foundation so must have get yourself a face primer now of course if you apply your face primer you can also apply your foundation now before we talk about foundation, we're going to talk about color correcting. I use the LA Girl uh, Orange Color Collector. It's because I have dark spots around this area of my mouth. And color correcting is not like a must. It's more of like if you know you have dark spots and your foundation doesn't cover that well and you want to make everything look even toned, then you color correct the dark spots before you apply your foundation. So the first steps, you always want to apply your primer first. A prior, before you set anything on your face, apply your primer and then put the color corrector if you were going to use color corrector before you go with your foundation. Now if you don't do color correcting, apply your primer first and then your foundation. But if you do color correct, do not, and I repeat, do not put the color corrector on your face first and then apply your primer because most primers tend to be like oily, greasy, creamy and when you apply that primer over your face and then you apply the and you already apply color collector before that, you kind of like almost like wash off or like wipe off your color corrector. So it's like it does, it does. So if you do color correct, you want to do that before your foundation and after your face primer. People tell me, oh, you don't need foundation, you don't need foundation, actually, you don't need foundation, actually. I know I don't need foundation, but I love foundation. I feel like the foundation like brings all my brings my look together, gives me like this, ooh, girl, what? Ooh. Ooh, like girl you know what I mean so you don't really need foundation for some people like you can actually pull up a little bit of foundation you can just use concealer now after my foundation I like to highlight and contour now highlight and contouring is not something that you must do it's something that you could do to enhance your beauty or enhance your look but if you're a beginner I would stick to just doing the basic foundation and then moving on to highlighting your face with like a regular um, powder I highlight or something but if you are in, the, in that advanced stage or you are interested to learn how to highlight and contour you want to you want to highlight after your foundation or I don't yeah you wouldn't do that before foundation and you just kind of this is why concealer is important because concealer is going to help you um, make those brows look good they're also going to help you highlight and contour so you definitely need concealers concealers is the get yourself concealers Another extra thing that's not really necessary or that's not needed, but I like to use is the it's the Makeup Revolution London Bronze Gold Liquid Highlighter. You put this in your foundation. You can put it in the foundation bottle, like squirt a couple of drops in there and shake it up to mix it in. Or when you take a little pump or a little dab of foundation, wherever you're gonna put your foundation, and then you apply two drops or a drop to the foundation, and you mix it before applying to your face. It gives you like this glowy look ever. So you're glowing from every angle. Like they see you coming, they know you're glowing. After foundation, I apply my lipsticks, and some companies I do recommend for cheap lipstick products are ColourPop and NYX. Like those are like my go-to. Uh, lipstick and I usually love matte lipstick now if you're not into the whole like lipstick you can also like get some lip gloss but something to moisturize your lips another important step is like having some kind of like lip balm like Carmax, Vaseline whatever you like to use EOS whatever you like to use um, to moisturize your lips because after you moisturize your face like I said in the beginning you want to moisturize your lips before you apply the lipstick on so in case like, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a time when the weather it's like really hot your lips are chapped you do not want to apply lipstick to a chapped lip. It doesn't look attractive, but it just looks crazy. And then mascara. You do need mascara. You do need mascara. If you're not going to apply lashes or you're not a fan of lashes, at least applying mascara to your lashes will still help in giving you like that nice oomph to your makeup. But then I feel like if you're not really a fan of lashes, like, why? 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 And the person I'm talking to, she knows this is for her. But. Lashes do help enhance your makeup. Like, they take you from like to like, <laughs> that makes sense. Funny 
how I'm doing uh, what you should have in your um, makeup kit, makeup collection, and I ran out of lashes. I only have my individuals. I'm yet to try this out, but if I do try it out and I like it, you guys begin to review on this uh, individual lashes. It's from Ardell, but you want to have some lashes. Like, these are individuals or the band. Here I apply my lashes. I usually go in with my setting spray. And I have the Max Fix Plus, I have the Mix Setting Spray, I have Maybelline, I have L'Oreal, but a lot of my, I have all setting sprays based on what I feel like using, what's, what's my mood for that day. But yeah, after I do that, I usually go in with my setting spray just to set everything in place. Now, uh, one of the highlights I like to use, you see this a lot for my on my brow bone, it's my BH Cosmetics Illuminate highlight from the collab with Ashley Tisdale. I usually use this on my brow bone to highlight my brow bone, or I could use it to highlight my whole face. Or and then you go with a bronzer. Like a bronzer is not really like a must-have. It's one of those extra things you just do just to be flat. So, and this bronzer is from Rimmel London. Also talked about highlight and contour, and then when you highlight and contour, you obviously want to set. This is for people who do highlight and contour. If you do highlight and contour, you want to set your highlight and set your face. Set that. You want to set your concealer with. Um, a setting powder so you can use the Sasha Buttercup setting powder you can use the Laura Messier finishing powder you can use the black opal uh, finishing powder it's just up to you you gotta find what works for you and you gotta set that face up another important thing you need to have in your makeup collection is some makeup wipes because these bad boys will come in handy when you make a mistake and you need to wipe it off or anything you need to have when you're applying lashes is your lash because I mean how should go apply the lashes to your eyes after the lash glue? So either you get a beauty blender or you get a brush. So you can have the two, which is good, so you can switch either or. But like some people could like you like to apply the foundation with a beauty blender, some people like to apply the foundation with a brush or just but you need brushes, like to apply your eyeshadow, to apply the concealer to your face, you just need brushes. Like you need brushes. I feel like brushes are more important than beauty blenders because a beauty blender just applies um, some products with like foundation and concealer, but you can really apply eyeshadow to your face with beauty blenders. I mean, you can, but I mean, why would you want to do that? She has a brush, it's easier. So yeah, I feel like these two are necessities, but it depends on what stage you are in your makeup. Check out my description bar for every product I listed in this video. And without further ado, that's it. So I hope you liked it. Stay tuned for my next video coming soon.